OpenParse is an open source Python package that makes it really easy for us to parse documents. Now, what we want to we want to be able to index aspects of documents. Documents have a lot of text in them. One of the problems is we need to be able to index aspects like pages of those documents, uh, sections of those documents, so we can retrieve information that's relevant and surrounding for search purposes, right? Either a human or a large language model that can leverage that text, leverage that knowledge in future questions. You've probably heard of RAG systems. Uh, these are those retrieval augmented generation systems, right? So what we have is a generation system uh, that you can use in LLMs as they, you know, parse along. They, can, they need additional context that's associated with maybe knowledge that you have either in a set of documents in your business or other documents around the web. And so it's become a common pattern specifically for larger businesses that have large amounts of internal data. This internal data needs to be parsed and indexed and chunked apart so that way it can be later used to ask questions of data in large volume data systems. And the traditional approach is to just take all your documents in the entire org and then just, you know, segment those docs by, uh, you know, chunks of text. And you can just be very naive and then say every 2000 characters or every 2000 words, you can chunk out those words, uh, create vectors, vector embeddings, store those vector embeddings, the text and the references to the original document in a database. And then you can use a vector search algorithm as you've prompted a system for a question to find relevant documents to the question that are in your business, pull those document segments in, let the LLM have that information, and then try to answer the question based on those documents, the information in your business has as proprietary, and uh, you will get a much more accurate answer. These are very popular systems and they're actively being developed today. And the big problem is very often existing systems to chunk out those, those chunks of data in those documents are not very accurate. So what open parse does that's different is it will take the take the documents visually that are already split. So in our existing documents, often humans will already do the heavy lifting, uh, creating paragraphs, title headers, and other segments like check this out here. See how this document is already, you can zoom in here. This document is already segmented, right? We've got tabular data. We've got a segment here and another segment here. Now this data, uh, could you could parse this out better from a visual perspective and that's what open parse does that's why open parse is better it can take this data in, in a document parse it out and give you the relevant metadata associated with it including a vector then you can store that data in a, in a database so that way you can then run vector searches on it pull out those documents, pull out the original text if needed. So that way you can put that into the initial input for an LLM and then a, 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 a business user or an employee at the company who has a detailed question about the company or the product could then ask a question of the LLM and then the LLM will have all the relevant data and it can provide a very highly accurate uh, answer to the employee. We do have a problem when we are splitting text documents and even image documents, they tend to be naive splitting, per wait, hold on, what do we even need to split documents for? Well, when we're indexing data for large language models or internal search systems, we need to be able to segment out sections of the document so that way we can create search indexes. We need to be able to create search indexes on these documents. And a very popular way that Google, uh, like Google's core algorithm is through embeddings and vectorization of the text. But the problem is the documents are so big you can't just index the entire document. I mean, you can, of course, to get keywords, right? You wanna be able to grab, you know, keywords in the document that have high frequency and related keywords that have frequency. So when you run a search, you wanna be able to return those documents to the end users, but that's not good enough. You need to also have a you know general idea about the surrounding text. And if you split text normally, you lose the ability to easily understand like major segments of the document. And so we're looking at open parts here, which is a Python library that allows you to easily take that data that's already human formatted, capture the formatting and the meaning and the semantic meaning around that, including like the headings, the sections, bullet points, and tab tabular data. And it's able to capture that information and then index that specifically. Now you've got a much more accurate and more meaningful extraction of text within a document. There are some competitor libraries like Layout Parser, 
if we'll take a look at layout parser here, that does similar things, right? They do take a lot of this. Let's zoom in here really quick so we can see. It can segment out. Actually, it kind of looks like it does just about the same thing. The problem though is I'm seeing that it's segmenting aspects of documents that should be connected to each other. Like this header, for example, should be connected to this paragraph and this paragraph might also should be connected to this paragraph. So there's, there's missing aspects to important meaning areas. The, I do see that it is like, for example, the Wall Street Journal. It is, yeah. oh, it's got an image, perfect. All right, so it captures the image, but it's also got some text data that I think should be better segmented more closely. And we take a look at what OpenParse does here, and it is capturing the important semantic meaning in bi bigger segments, essentially. It's able to capture more details. So those libraries are strictly focused sort of like on layout parsing, where OpenParse, it's going, it really is gonna capture more of that detail. And and even better when they run it through LLMs to provide important information when a, an employee is asking questions of the company's data, you're gonna get a much better performance using OpenParse when you segment your documents using OpenParse. So you get a lot of good stuff. You get visually driven, OpenParse visually analyzes documents for a much better LLM input experience beyond just like, you know, other approaches of splitting text. It has Markdown, that's nice. It supports table extraction. Oh, that's pretty good, <laughs> all right? That's a pretty, that's a tough one right there to get uh, table extraction, that's nice. They made the API very easy to use uh, and they also have post processing, uh, post processing extensibility. We're looking at ways to index and process PDF files and other kinds of documents in a way that is far superior to other traditional approaches. One of the patterns is to split text out and then up, uh, apply vector embeddings to each of those text segments and you store those text segments in a database. A user will then submit a search that gets uh, text uh, vector embedded and uh, sorted for similarity against existing snippets. The problem is though, naive text splitting in that approach, you're gonna miss a lot of the context and a lot of the other meaning. And so you're gonna need something that can better more semantically split text in a highly uh, efficient and more accurate way. We have OpenParse that does that for us. With a Python library, we import OpenParse we have a reference to our PDF file or other documents, and then we just run the parse on it, and we, and then it pulls out all of the nodes, all the text data, and other information. We get some really good information here. All right, so we have our sample document here, mobile home manual, okay. Oh, neat, okay, so it's got a PDF display system that allows us to display the segments. Look how, okay. This is fantastic. So it will actually take important, meaningful segments, including title headers, and it captures uh, critical aspects in, in chunks, large chunks like this. You even get these bounding boxes. The output is, is this uh, sort of a dictionary here where you get an array of nodes, number of tokens, bounding box, right? B box, bounding box the actual text associated with it, which you need. And then this is what you'll run your vector embedding on it is this, this segment of text here. I like how it references the page number, uh, the page height, right? This is pretty cool art. So this is like, this is showing like one page here. Oh, nice. It also captures tables. So we can, oh, do we have to do anything special for tables? No, it's automatic, right? So we get a uh, normal document parser table args parsing algorithms, table transformer. So you do have to pass in an extra parameter. If you know that there's gonna be tables in your document, you need to let open parser know that, hey, there's gonna be tables. It'd be nice if this was sort of automatic, though it is neat that they provide the ability to supply your own table transformer. So it's able to capture this and look, it's all, all the output is then formatted and captured even though it was uh, in PDF format beforehand. And this is what the original document looked like and we're able to extract that. This is pretty powerful. Okay, yeah, this is extremely meaningful. See how we have three separate segments here in this document, these segments, if you were to naively parse with just a normal length by length text splitting, you would easily miss like this header data would not be fully captured. And then these tables here, they would be missed as well because you would be, uh, you would probably slice off the, the heading information. So using something like open parse libraries can be significantly better. If you're building a RAG routing augmented regeneration system for your business, for large language models, or you are trying to index data within documents for your business and you have a large catalog of proprietary documents, you're gonna wanna look at open parse. This is the best library 
For that, it's going to be able to chunk out information semantically that's already been parsed and processed by humans in the format with headers, paragraphs, and tables. Now, no other system has done a, as good of job as open parse. You just simply import open parse, point it at your document, and then parse it, and then it will split out the data with each of your nodes. If you're building any kind of index search-based system through vector embeddings or any other kind of token generation system, you're gonna want to use this approach. It's going to provide a much more accurate and more semantically meaningful information for your business as you create a, a globalized document search across all of your systems. I really, I really wanted to do this myself by hand by doing, oh, we'll just split every, you know, 1,000 characters. And, you know, we even could have like a sliding window on that and it would probably do a pretty good job. This, however, I believe will provide just that extra level above maybe that much more accurate amount of information that can be captured semantically. Uh, and you can embed these texts so it provides the output data, including location of the data on the page, number of tokens, uh, the text that you can use to then convert that into an embedding, right, a vector embedding, then you can throw that into like Postgres and use PG vector to index those vectors. And then you can run a search on that database to provide which documents are the most important and the segments of those documents that you can then put into a large language model. And now you've got the, the ultimate search engine question answer system for your business internally. Now, while the business internal tools are gonna to benefit the most for your teams and your employees to be able to ask questions of your products and other proprietary information, you can also create a public facing version of this. So that way other users, prospects, you know, customers can come in and ask questions directly and have the full knowledge of all the public documents around, which could be really powerful because that allows your end users to have a better overall experience being able to communicate with you and your business uh, more, more, more quickly, right? Faster than a human can retrieve and parse this data. LLMs today can do a really good job at providing highly accurate output to data for specific documents, especially when you're using routing augmented generation.